Hey guys, welcome to number 11 of the Derby Career Mode Live, and in this episode, we are going to be basically finishing off the January transfer window. In the last episode, we obviously won against Blackburn, it was quite a big game, and we won in the uh, FA Cup against Bradford. We do have Hull in this episode, and we have um, QPR and, of course, Huddersfield starting off this episode, so let's get into that game against Huddersfield. And then we're probably going to make one, maybe two signings, so that'll be really good. So into the first game of the episode, we go against Huddersfield. It is at home, of course, and um, Huddersfield are the kind of team that we do need to be beating in this series because when we are in the Premier League, we're going to have a lot more of a challenge, of course. Oh, what a terrible start to the game. They just cross the ball into the box. Forsyth, obviously, filling in for Kolesinak this game, who is suspended. Same with Thorne, and uh, far too much space. Got the ball in the back post, and... Uh, they do take it into the lead. And that's full time there. That was the most frustrating game ever. I'm sure since the update, the mechanics have changed hugely. It's just so difficult now to do many, many things. And especially when I don't have an LB button, it makes it even harder. So unfortunately, Calabas hasn't accepted his contract. So I'm going to put him up to 30 grand a week because he's the kind of player. It doesn't matter what you pay for him. You'll get your money back. And um, we definitely need to bring him in now. So we've got a few pre-contract signings here. Hoga, the one I really, really wanted, I think we are going to bring him in because for 75 grand a week for a player that is very, very good, I think it's worth it, but I'm just going to stall it for a little bit just to see on, um, I, I want to get Kalabos, that's the priority, and then after that I just want to bring in a few uh, pre-contract signings. So what I'm actually going to do is bring in Hoga now because we've got enough money to do both deals, so I may as well bring him in. Hopefully Kalabos doesn't ask for too much more because then we can potentially bring in that centre-back as well. So I think Hoga, that's a fantastic signing. Nordweit uh, declined the contract. So I think in Hoga and uh, Martins as well, they're, they're two very good central midfielders. So maybe we need to look into get rid of Bryson, maybe even Bradley Johnson. He's not done too well. And there we go. Contract accepted for Calabos. Shot and going the other way, plus 2 million, 30 grand a week. It's, it's adding up to about just under 4 million. And uh, we can actually bring in this guy as well, Solomon Kvertlia. Um but I'm actually going to wait because I think at the moment I just want to see how this team does with the new signing of Calabos who will go in behind the striker I feel that's his main priority role he can play there 84 dribbling 4 star skills I think as well no just 3 just 3 is ok like we've been doing that with uh, Butterfield but that attack um, 4 should do really well now so I've just loaned out Jamie Hansen I don't think we really need him now until the end of the season and it's going to be mainly big games we did play him in the last one but he didn't do that well at all his passing isn't good enough so yeah he definitely needs to get some um, game time so we're going to go into this game against Hull City it is in the FA Cup so it is quite an important thing to me so I think playing the first team will be key to getting a good result in this game we have got Kolasinac and Thorn back now so that should do quite nicely and we have the almighty Calabas in behind he should do really well I don't know about playing him in these two positions but I'm definitely confident about anywhere in this uh, front three because he's got some really nice stats not the paciest of players only around 70 pace but 84 dribbling and 82 on ball control they're incredible stats and he's only 19 years old so into the FA Cup against Hull City this is a big big game I definitely want to get us to at least to the semi-final I think that's what we could do in this first season so here's our team for today's game obviously we've got Calabas coming on for his debut the number 22 Hopefully we can get a good result. We have got Drummond in goal. That's the only change I've really made. Um, of course, Calabas coming in. So here's the whole City lineup for today. They've got McGregor, El Mohamedi, Dawson. I think they are playing a four at the back. Yeah, they are. That's that's quite interesting because normally they play five at the back. They've got Schnodgrass, Huddleston, Livermore, Maloney, Hernandez, and Aluko. <laughs> what a wonder boy. What a wonder kid this guy is. Literally, the first touch of the ball, and he's put it into the top left-hand corner with a beautiful volley. This guy is going to be absolutely incredible, Danny Calabos. I know he's not the most original idea, like I've seen his rating, and it's very, very good. And I just can't wait to see how he grows in this promo, because that bit of skill from Ince, and then the ball inside to Calabos. Beautiful ball control, then just cuts in, smashes it into the back. What a wonderful goal, what a great way to start of this FA Cup game with a wonderful strike from the new Spaniard. No, oh my fucking god have we conceded them the last minute. You are pissing me off now. That's an absolute joke. They've been absolutely nowhere near our goal all game long. And they score on the last kick. Oh my god. 
So unfortunately, it's going to have to go to a replay, and uh, I, d I really didn't want that because that just just really annoyed me. Because we should have easily won that, and it was the last kick of the game. Thorn didn't win the header, and then they just got the goal. It was oh, so frustrating. So we've got a transfer for it from Will Hughes from Barcelona. I'm going to give him 33 million. I'd be very happy with 30 million. I'd say the the cutoff point would be 25. That would be, yeah, maybe, and. Um, that's probably what I'd go to. So Barcelona don't think he's worth 33 million. I probably don't think he's worth 33, but in the future he definitely will be. So the centre back we are looking at getting is this guy. He's 72 rated. I don't think he's worth it really. I don't think we need that kind of calibre. I think we need a lot better. I know he's only 23, um, but there's a lot better players here. So we're going to look through these, see what we want, and then in the next episode we're probably going to make one more pre-contract signing. Adding up to about three, which when you think about it isn't that many, like in real life. We got Bed, we got uh, Bent, and we got someone else. I'm not too sure who though, but uh, we are going to end off the episode here. Too many games in this uh, January trunk window. And then we're going to end it off in the next episode with um, the FA Cup replay. And you look at the table, we're all the way down in eighth. But one win can put you all the way back at the top. So really tight at the moment, really important we, that we get the wins. Huddersfield are in the relegation zone. Oh, that just makes me feel way worse now.